Well hello everyone and a very big welcome back to our snowy viking village for another build tutorial. That's right everyone this build has been requested quite a few times so today I'm going to show you how to build a viking seer's hut. But before we jump into the build I'd just like to say a huge thank you to everyone who's subscribed recently as we've just hit 10,000 subscribers which absolutely blows my mind so thank you guys so so much for that. Also if you're new to the channel firstly a huge welcome. You can check out how we built the rest of this cold viking settlement over on the channel by watching the rest of the snowy viking village tutorials and don't forget to press that subscribe button if you haven't already so today's video i think the perfect place for our seeds will be over here in this wooded area of the village so it looks a bit magical and a bit mysterious but first we're going to clear out a few of these trees so we can actually see what we're doing Now I know some of you might be thinking, well, what is a seer's hut? Well, a seer is a wise oracle type of viking that would translate the wishes of the Norse gods and tell curious vikings their fate when they came to visit him in his seer's hut. If you've watched the series Vikings on Amazon Prime then you'll know exactly what I mean, but I think it's important that we give our village a spot for a seer to live so our viking villagers can visit him whenever they need some guidance. So what will we need to build our seer's hut? So, we're going to need some stripped dark oak logs, some stripped spruce logs, some spruce planks, some spruce slabs, some dark oak planks, stairs and slabs, some spruce trap doors, dark oak trap doors, dark oak fences, spruce doors, lanterns, candles and some leaves. Not a lot of stuff really, so let's get building. So for this build we're going to need a 9x9 nine nine block area, as you can see mine overlaps the edge of some blocks but it also doesn't have to, you'll see why shortly. So the first step is to place a strip dark oak log on each corner of our marked out area like so. Next, add a further four strip dark oak logs in the shown positions. Pause the video if you need to inspect it more carefully. Now, we're going to grab some spruce slabs and we're going to fill in the area between our strip dark oak logs to create a raised platform to build our hut on top of. Next, place a dark oak slab on the front three logs and a far right back log like so. On the remaining dark oak stripped logs, place a further two stripped dark oak logs on each one and then add another four in the shown positions to create six columns. Now we're going to simply join up all of the stripped dark oak columns with a two block high wall of spruce planks to form the basic shape of our seer's hut. Next we're going to add a row of three spruce planks in the shown front positions and do the same on the back positions as well. Using some more stripped dark oak logs we're going to join the two rows of three spruce planks up with a horizontal beam of 11 logs, making sure two logs are sticking out on each side. Next, along the left hand side of the beam we've just created, add a row of 9 dark oak stairs and then repeat this two more times below, creating a slope forming one side of the roof of our hut. Now using some dark oak fence posts, we're going to place a row of five on the ground with a gap in between each one, then place another row of dark oak stairs on top to complete one side of the roof. Now to neaten up the underside of the roof a bit, we're going to place some upside down stairs on the ridge. Do this on the front and the back sides of the roof. On the other side of the horizontal beam we're going to add another row of 9 dark oak stairs and then below that we're going to add a row of 9 dark oak planks like so. Mm -hmm. 
grab some dark oak slabs next and add two rows of nine next to each other like so to create a steady slope on one side of the hut. Then on the side of the slabs that are showing, we're going to add another row of nine, but this time of dark oak trap doors to create a bit of an overhang. Next, along the top of our horizontal dark oak beam, we're going to add a row of nine dark oak slabs, and then we're going to place another slab on every other block to create a crenellated roof look that we've used on most of our other builds in the village. Now to create that traditional Viking V shape on the roof, we're going to place two upside down stairs, then two right way upstairs, then a further two upside down stairs, like so. Do this on the back side as well. And don't forget to add that upside down stair to neaten up the other side of the roof. Now we're going to add a two block hole in the front of the hut and then just pop yourself a nice neat spruce door in the front of the hut like so. Then we're going to pop a hole in the front and the back and add a fence post in each one to create two little windows. To create a little step we're going to place a row of three spruce slabs along the front like so. To light up our hut we're going to hang a nice lantern from the front and then we're going to texture up the walls by replacing some of the spruce planks with some stripped spruce logs. This just adds some history and a bit of story to the build as well. Out the front of the Sears hut we're going to extend our path and join up to the main village so our Vikings can visit our wise old Sears whenever they want. Now to add some texture to our little platform, we're going to replace some of the spruce slabs with some spruce trap doors. Next, to make our hut look a bit more old and mysterious, we're going to blend it into the surroundings by adding some leaf blocks on the roof, hanging over the sides to make it look like it's been consumed by the surrounding nature. To add some further detail to our hut, we're going to add some candles for atmosphere and some more foliage and plants around to make it look a bit more suited to the environment. Then we're going to put some trees back where we removed them at the start of the video to make it a bit more, a bit more mysterious, a bit more magical and uh, build up the forest around the hut a little bit more. For the interior of the Sears hut, we're going to hang animal skins using banners from the roof, add a campfire, a bed and some more candles. Then we're going to hang some roots from the roof to make it look a bit eerie and then we're going to add some crystals for our seer to use in his ceremonies and his services when speaking to the Vikings in the village. And there we have it ladies and gentlemen, our Viking Seer's Hut is complete. Our Vikings now have somewhere to go to hear the wise words of the gods and I think it really adds more story and interest to the village. I hope you liked the build, I'm pretty pleased with it. Let me know down below what you thought of the video and what else you'd like to see me add to our vast growing village. I think after we complete the Viking Village we'll start a brand new tutorial series so give me a few ideas for any new series that you'd like to see and I'll try and decide which one will start sometime soon. But if you enjoyed the video press that subscribe button and thank you so much for watching and that's all we've got time for today guys but don't worry i'll see you all in the next video tatty bye